Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, what the, what the heck, is it like the third already? Yeah, the third, February 3rd. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and you know, this may not resonate today, it may resonate in a couple days, it may be in the past, it may not be for you. Um, this is for whoever needs it. All right, this is just a message that I'm picking up on today for somebody. It's basically another uh, day of, uh, you know, it's another day of that, this uh, soul source, soul opera, whatever it is, right? Kind of like that. What do we got for the third? What do we got for February 3rd for whoever needs it the most? This is a last minute deck change. I had chose a different deck very just right now I changed the deck so kind of odd it's weird but you know I listen so you know and before I started this I saw the hangman you know the hangman was popping up in my head and it wasn't in a card either and then actually in the other deck when I cut the deck yes the hangman come up so that's funny I didn't even register that till now um, so yeah, before I even picked up the other deck, I, the hangman popped into my head. And then as I was getting ready to change the deck, I picked it up, you know, I cut the deck and I cut it to the hangman. This time I just cut it to the prince, princess of cups, which is the page of cups, which is an off, which is love, right? The beginning of love crush. Anyway, the hangman is proving a point of some sort. So hmm, kind of in limbo, kind of in suspension, um, stuck perhaps thinking about something but still trying to prove a point because you think about the hey man the hey man is like a, a martyr I have something to prove and I will not budge because I have a point to prove so that's what I'm getting from that at this time at this time that's what I'm picking up somebody's trying to prove a point maybe I don't know why maybe they have to go within for themselves maybe they maybe they're um, redesigning themselves you know who knows Ooh, ooh, the three of swords. This is painful. Yes, it is. It is painful. Painful situation right here. Bleeding. Whew. Prince of Wands not taking action. Somebody is unable to take action and it hurts. And now, you know, they have a decision to make. Somebody has to make a decision, a choice. You know, this is the, the card of two paths. So somebody has to make a choice. Do they, you know, where are they going next? It almost looks like this guy's mind is made up to me. It looks like somebody is probably making a choice. And he looks kind of adamant. I mean, look at the look on his face. It's like he's kind of whatever. My decision has been made. I am not going to take action no matter how much it hurts. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. Ooh, the magician. The magician. This is, uh, nah. <clears throat> How am I going to do this? Somebody is like trying to figure out how they can take the power back, how they can uh, manifest something. Somebody is trying to find a way to be successful. How am I going to be successful? I mean, he's looking in his magic book. I mean, how am I going to how am I going to do this? Somebody's trying to figure out how they're going to do something, and that's power. How am I going to? take control of a situation how am I going to get what I want how can I get what I want oh oh well the princess of pentacles you know this is an apology maybe somebody needs to apologize or just communicate or make some sort of stable solid offer 
This is a page of pentacles. This is where somebody decides to find the backbone and the focus and the drive, even if it's a little bit of drive, to actually do something. This is like somebody is suddenly seeing that, you know, this is an opportunity here. I have an opportunity in my hands. And this is like kind of suddenly after playing around. Somebody has been playing around. It's like now they see they have an opportunity. And it's like, how am I going to get this opportunity? What do I have to do? How am I going to get it? Somebody may be thinking about going back or thinking about leaving. It could go either way. This is just thinking about it. They wanna, they're thinking about going back or they're thinking about leaving, one or the other. It's thinking about leaving or thinking about going back to something that really broke their heart. Either way, this is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. No doubt. We have the Hierophant here. This is about faith and trust. It's about following your, your inner guide. It's about commitment. It's about being able to listen to your intuition and learn from your mistakes. There's the key to the heart. Somebody has the key. Now we got Taurus here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Gemini here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, could be anybody though, but this is about commitment. This all boils down to commitment. And this is also a teacher. So it's, and I do, so I really feel like somebody is trying to teach somebody a lesson. Prince of Cups. By not offering love, by shutting down emotionally and not and refusing to uh, make any moves. This is all, this is like shutting down emotional connection. This is moving forward. Putting yourself in the driver's seat, taking the lead, taking the reins. Finding the mental strength to face fear. Somebody is, is probably coming up with some sort of plan or come, do, doing something to help them be successful. That's what's happening. Somebody is trying to find a way to make something successful. And it's like, I got to do this. I got to charge forward and face this opposition. So somebody is finding this, whatever they got to do. It's like they're trying to come up with a way to bring victory to a situation. Because this is success and this is success. Finding a way. Somebody is finding a way. Woo! Wow! The ace of, that's a huge opportunity. Huge. Somebody has a new opportunity here that is big. And it could lead to something stable. Seriously, big, big, big. This is a big opportunity. This is, and this is manifestation. And this is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something really good. It's an absolute gift. And it's being given to you from above. It, you know, I don't know. It could be a, it could have to do for the, with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Cancer here as well. We have Gemini, but we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be anybody. Somebody has manifested a new beginning and it's not only they manifest it's because they took their power back it's because they they did what they had to do something somebody had to do something and now they have a new opportunity here that is like right in front of them it's a it is a it's a beautiful one right wow that's the power of manifestation for you it's the power of positive thinking or whatever 
somebody has is now receiving something somebody is like headed in their direction very quickly they may even be at your door with some sort of offer i mean there's no joke here we got somebody that is making an offer and it's like they just had this epiphany that wow this is this is bigger than i thought this is bigger than i thought So there's been a really painful situation that somebody has walked away from or they're thinking about walking away from or they're thinking about going back to. It starts out with a three of swords. I mean, somebody has been through a heartbreaking situation in which they either are walked away for, from it or they want to go back or they walked away from it and now they have a new commitment coming in because here we have a new commitment. We do. I mean, this could lead to marriage. There is no doubt. And I feel like it may seem like it's too good to be true. If this is somebody new, it may feel like this is too good to be true because this is kind of happening fast. And I, I do feel like it's because somebody turned their back. Somebody turned their back on... Or somebody didn't put in effort to make something grow in the past. They didn't they didn't put in they didn't do what they needed to do and now they're like, "Damn, I got this golden opportunity. How am I going to make this last? How am I going to make this work? Or what can I do to make this successful?" You know? This is about believing in yourself. This is about faith and trust. The Hierophant is ruled by I already told you Taurus. It's about believing and really listening to your inner guide. It's like, just sit back and listen because you are being guided. You're being guided. All you got to do is listen. Don't take any action. Just listen. Listen. Think about this for a minute. This is think about it too. And this is think about it. So somebody really has to, to dig deep within, okay? And this means in silence. Go within. Go within to think about your heart. Think about, you know, how you can move forward successfully. I mean, that's what this looks like. Maybe that's what somebody's doing. How am I going to make this next opportunity successful? I don't know. That's what it kind of looks like to me. But this is also travel. This is like expansion. Usually he has like a world or something in his hands. It is. It's up there. And he's looking up there at the world. That's what he's looking at. He is looking at that world. He's looking at that. The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless. So I think that we have a new mindset here. This is transformation. Somebody, I think that we have somebody here that is understanding or seeing that there is a bigger opportunity than where they have been in the past. They see it. This person, you know, may be at a distance when you see the world. They may be at a distance, whoever this person is. But it may also, it does, I mean, with the, with the Prince of Cups reversed, that's like, is this too good to be true? Is this just an empty offer or not? And that's why there's like a need to think positive. That's for sure. Think positive. Think positive. Seriously. Think positive. Yeah, there's a new opportunity. There's a, This is the Five of Cups reversed. There's a new opportunity for love here. It's like coming out of a dark period with the Five of Cups reversed. It's no longer focusing on the hurt. It's focusing on the new opportunity. We have a shift. We absolutely do have a shift. It's like, oh my God, now I got this new opportunity. It's a big one. It's great. It's wonderful. This is real. You know, it seems like it's real. Pentacles are real. You can touch them. Touch, feel, taste. I mean, pentacles are real. This is a real offer. Somebody is realizing that they have a, a real offer from somebody. And it's like, where did this come from? 
yeah, it's like it's time to just be happy. The five, this is great. It's like, I don't give a shit what you have to prove. This is about proving the point, the five of swords. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care about what point you have to prove. I'm no longer going to participate in your games. I am no longer going to let you belittle me. I am no longer going to let you have control over me with your silly games. It's time for me to be happy and step away from these struggles. So if somebody is realizing that they don't need to be in conflict. Fives are conflict. They're both reversed. I don't need to be in this conflict anymore over the past. I ain't looking at it no more. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected when you see five, five, five. Major life changes. That's what's going on here. We absolutely have some people here that are watching this that are shifting from a heartbreaking situation right into a bigger, better opportunity. First card, last card. It's like big and it's because somebody has made a choice you know fives are major life choices major life changes this is a choice okay somebody has made a choice a decision to move forward to take their power back to shed the old to listen I mean, this is a divine, divine guidance card as well. It's like somebody has been guided. They have been given a gift. I mean, the magician has a gift, right? Somebody has been given a gift that they are using to bring success. And this is like an internal gift of knowing. I mean, this is what a gift of just knowing I can do this. Anyway, somebody's definitely shifting from heartache to new beginning, to a huge new beginning. I mean, this is the best opportunity you can get, right? It is. Ooh. The, and somebody's watching behind the scenes. Somebody may be upset. Somebody may be jealous. Somebody may be jealous that you're taking your power back. Somebody may not be happy with the decision that you are making. To change your life. I mean, these are, these are, this is making changes. To, somebody's not happy about it. Because they're jealous and they're vindictive. And they don't want you to work with anybody else. They don't want you to work with anybody else. They don't want you to give yourself to anybody else, you know. They don't want you to be with anybody else. But they don't want you either. Because they probably walked away. They didn't appreciate you though. They didn't appreciate you at all. They didn't respect you. And they didn't love you. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. They couldn't give to you. They didn't know how to love whoever this person was. They couldn't open their heart. It's not that they didn't know how at that time for some reason. They could not give emotionally to a situation. <laughs> and now we have somebody that is ready. This is a huge opportunity. To be nurtured, to be taken care of. <laughs> look at, look at, it's harvest time. Look at that shit. It's harvest time. It's time. She's ready. It's ready. 
you pick that fruit and take your golden opportunity and head right towards something really big and good okay so somebody is definitely heading away from a person that couldn't I mean the cup is even closed that couldn't open their heart right into a stable solid opportunity I mean the queen of pentacles is mother earth she's a mother she's nurturing she's caring It's like this is this is so ready. Somebody is so 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 ready. So ready. And it looks like we have somebody who's probably upset and oh and emotional but unable to they're withdrawn. They can't communicate, whatever. They can't. They can't communicate and therefore somebody has decided to not look back. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody here, by the way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I would say probably the most. Either way, we ha somebody has manifested a new opportunity that could lead to something that you c that could last. Okay, with the magician card, this pentacle is huge. This one is huge. This is a commitment. Somebody is headed towards a new destination, a new partnership. This is a twoser partnership that could really last. And it's because somebody is really doing their homework. It's like trying to figure out what they can do to make it last. It's like... Yeah, somebody is is really wants to make sure that they do this right. I want to make sure I do this right. So whatever that is, whoever that's for, there's a shift. Somebody has a new new partnership here on the horizon, and that is no joke, no joke. But the uh, the person from the past is, isn't happy for some reason. They're not. They're still watching. They're still observing. Better. This is the this is the page of swords reversed. It's like they they don't love you, but they don't want you to work with anybody else. They don't want you to have wish fulfillment. They don't want you to be happy. Whatever. There's still there's going to be happiness either way. There is cuz that that's big. You got to you got to keep you got to remain hopeful. Remain hopeful. Don't don't let your lack of faith cuz this is these right here. Don't let your lack of faith because of the person that beat you down make you think that you're not worthy of this golden opportunity. Because you are. Just because they didn't see your worth and they didn't love you and they couldn't open their heart because they didn't love themselves doesn't mean that you can't be happy. Because you can. There's an op this is this is an opportunity there's an opportunity for a lot of happiness here with somebody that you have manifested into your life. It's the end of a difficult time. It's the end of the hurt. It's over. It's over. You can stand up now and just walk away. There, you. I think somebody has come to the realization that there is no hope with this person. That 
that just hurt them. And now they just have to believe and have faith that the worst is over and now they have a better opportunity because they do have a better opportunity. This is the last card. Somebody has a big opportunity being handed to them from God above. Take it. Take it. Let's get one of these. It's funny. Ooh, we got two of them. We're going to have to take them both. Un un uncovering treasure. Absolutely. That's what we got here. It, I'm not kidding. Navigating the stars. Follow your bliss. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. And you know, she's got the bounty, this Queen of Pentacles. Could be anybody. We got anybody here. Navigating by the stars. Don't lose hope, please. Navigating by the stars. Let's read it. Trust your gut. Did we already talk about this, right? The very beginning. You know how they do this for me all the time. Trust your gut and you see where I put the card? Here we go. Don't get any better than this right here. Trust your gut. I'm reading this card. Trust your gut. Have faith. Damn, they love me. Sorry. Trust your gut. Have faith that a higher power is directing your life. Believe. We already talked about this. Allow your life decisions to be dictated by what opens your heart and by what brings you joy. Relax. Be patient. Follow your bliss. Your life is divinely guided. All is going according to a wonderful plan for your life. Be confident that all is well. Sometimes you can't see the road ahead, but when you become still, remember I said you have to be in silence. I already told you this. <laughs> That's funny. They, I, it really is. Sometimes you can't see the road ahead, but when you become still, you can feel the right way to go. It's like navigating by the stars. Unbelievable. You might not be able to see every detail of the path for your life, but when you trust, when you trust the light of the stars, your silent spirit guardians and the joy of your guiding North Star, North Star to navigate in the darkness in the morning light, you find yourself at the right place at the right time. And this is what has happened. It's funny, I made a prediction the other day to somebody that really hurt me. All I can say is, uh-oh. Anyway, here we got another one. Uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. Look beneath the surface in your life and you will find treasure. Bounty. See the bounty she's got. Remember, we talked about this. Bounty is awaiting you in many forms. The secret is knowing that you deserve it and are worthy of it. Oh, boy. You know, I already told you this. Something that you thought was ordinary will turn out to be extraordinary. Take a second to look at the people and situations in your life. Sometimes receiving treasure is simply a matter of seeing life in a new way. The treasure was always there. You just didn't see it. On the journey, the traveler confronts dragons and overcomes obstacles, and in the process discovers the depth of the treasure in their soul. Often treasure is found in the most unexpected of places. 
Sometimes, after it seems that you've faced an inner dragon, you'll find the hidden treasure. Success begets success. So as you begin to seek and find the bounty in your life, more and more rewards will follow. This card heralds a bountiful, prosperous, abundant time in your life. It's funny that the prediction I met, made was completely the opposite. For this certain person. Good people get good things. Believe it. Bad people do not. Believe it. And if believe it. Good luck.